we're going to look at calculating the surface areas of different prisms and the uh, formula for finding the surface area of a prism is S equals 2B plus P times H where S is the surface area that's the area of every surface um, within our prism B is the area of one base P is the perimeter of a base, so the distance around the base, and H is the height of the prism, which is the distance that connects two bases. And so if we were to classify uh, this first example here, we have a triangular prism. Now, it's important to note that it is a triangular prism because that tells us that our base is a triangle. And so when we find the surface area, we're really finding two triangles. So the base is a triangle and then the plus the perimeter of that triangle times the height will allow us to find the rectangular areas. And so if we trace our one of our triangle bases, um, if we were to go through and find the surface area, well we have two bases so that's why we're multiplying by two and then the fact that our triangle is a base we're going to do base and height so 12 times 5 because those are perpendicular so the area of a triangle is 12 times 5 divided by 2 plus now in terms of finding the perimeter we're going to add up the sides of our triangle so I see I have 5 and I have 12 so 5 plus 12 plus the third side of our triangle is unknown and so because we have a right triangle we're going to take a brief detour and do the Pythagorean theorem and so if we do that 5 squared plus 12 squared and we're looking for the hypotenuse so that's C squared and so if we work that out we end up with 169 equals C squared and square rooting the hypotenuse or the third side of our triangle turns out to be 13. And so substituting in to find the perimeter, 5 plus 12 plus 13, and then we want to multiply that by the height. Now again, the height of the prism is the distance that connects the two bases, and so it does not have to be straight up and down. And so in this case, our height of our prism connecting the two triangles in the front and back is 4, and so the height of our prism is 4. So as we go through and simplify uh, the surface area for our triangular prism, our triangle is 12 times 5 divided by 2. The area of one triangle turns out to be 30. And if I continue to simplify just the bases, the two triangles together, 2 times 30, has an area of 60. Now, the area of the three or the three rectangles, the three lateral faces going around the outside of our triangles, that's found by using the perimeter, 5 plus 12 plus 13, which simplifies down to 30, and then multiplying that by the height of 4, and so we end up with 120 for the rectangles. And so if we find the total surface area, 60 plus 120 is 180. In this case, our unit is inches, so 180 square inches. And so our surface area, if we were to wrap that entire triangular prism, would be 180 square inches. Now, one other question or component that you're going to be asked to find is also going to be asked to find the lateral area which is the area of the lateral faces so the rectangular um, shapes within our prism now if we look at our formula we have two bases which is the two triangles in this instance but then the other faces are found using perimeter times height and so this calculation will give us the lateral area and so if we follow that down our lateral area 
the area of the three rectangles in this case turns out to be 120. And so we would have 120 square inches. Now the purpose of the lateral area would be like if you were going to paint a room or wallpaper a room, knowing uh, just the walls would be beneficial. Now moving on to a second example, we have in this case another prism and in this instance our base is a trapezoid and so we have a trapezoidal prism. And again that is important to note because the fact that it is a trapezoidal prism tells us that when we are finding the surface area we're really finding the area of a trapezoid for our base uh, when going through and performing our calculations. And so if we do that, uh, the surface area is 2, and then to find the area of a trapezoid, it's base 1 plus base 2, so 8 plus 12, 12 coming from the dimension of the back trapezoid. So we have 8 plus 12 times the height of our trapezoid, and so straight up and down between the two bases of the trapezoid um, is 6 divided by 2. And so if we simplify just the bases, we have, um, we have an area of 8 plus 12 times 6 divided by 2. That turns out to be an area of 60. And so we have two trapezoids, each with 60 uh, square inches. And so our two bases have an area of 120. But then we still have to find the area of the four rectangles going around. And so we find that using perimeter times height. And so the perimeter of our trapezoid, 12, 9, and I can pull the 9 from the back trapezoid, 8, and then 7. So if I add those up, 12 plus 8 plus 9 plus 7 times the height. And so the height, again, connects the two uh, congruent bases. And so in this case, our height is 10. So times 10. So simplifying that, 12 plus 8 plus 9 plus 7, that gives me a value of 36 times 10, which is 360. And so stopping there, our lateral area, our lateral area turns out to be 360 square inches. That's just again the area of the rectangles. And then finding the surface area of our prism, adding in the bases that we had before, the 120, and then the lateral area of the rectangles, the 360, we end up with a total area of 480 square inches.